Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to discuss stops and how to use them. Uh, should be a pretty quick video. I think everyone's got a different strategy for this, but uh, here are some of the basic systems that I use to uh, manage a winning trade and um, how I can get out of losers very quickly. Um, so f first off, there's you know two different types of stops, right? When When you first put on a trade and then when the trade is going in your favor. Um, so if, the, so, so we can boil this down to, right, if the new trade fails, what's going to be your stop to get you out? Uh, and, and what we'll do is we'll take a look at EMPH, <clears throat> go back to a period in time, uh, 2019, uh, price approach to the, the 200. Uh, you know, let's just say we were buying at the 200, very aggressive entry. Uh, we would allow a 12% stop. Uh, which would be around fifteen dollars. Uh, we'd size this at about uh, twenty percent of the portfolio, uh, risking two percent of total portfolio on this trade. Um, and this is basically rule number one: don't ever exceed two percent of total portfolio loss on a trade. Uh, if you lose more than two percent, you're doing it wrong. Um, that being the case, uh, we would not have been stopped out here originally. Um, we could come over here, uh, in, you know, March and, and, and had the exact same trade enter at the 200 at 27. Uh, we certainly would have been stopped out here this day or this day. So not the same setup over here, right? Initial stop would have been would have taken us out of the trade, uh, would have had us watching this move, looking to buy the retest of the 200 uh, and the gap fill, which came here. So uh, f f you know, just again, first stop is, you know, we put on a new trade and it fails. Okay. The second type of stop is the trailing stop. Now this is definitely a bit more complicated, a little bit more of an art. Um, some people like to use like an average trailing, you know, ATR, uh, um, as their stop. Uh, some people just like to use the moving average. Uh, some people like to use, uh, Elliott wave structure or just a series of higher lows on the charts and when that pattern is lost they're out some people love these trend lines when the trend line breaks we're out um, but yeah so let's go through just the the, the pros and cons of each and um, and and we'll just uh, yeah we'll take a look at EMPH and uh, uh, as our example so the moving average stop you know let's say we get in here buy here uh, we, we never get stopped out. It's been, you know, 20 sessions of sideways action, right? November, all of November goes sideways. Uh, and then finally starts to leave. Well, this whole time when she's leaving, she's just captured the 10, captured the 40, rejected at the 100, came back into the 10, which was the trend, came into the 20, came back into the 10, pulled back into the 20, back into the 20, launch, um, and so at this point you could say, well, yeah, the 10 and the 20, I mean, obviously these are great trend indicators. Um, SMA 20 is the middle of the Bollinger band. A lot of people reference it as mean, um, or just average price likes to come back to the green line or SMA 20, uh, before it gets too far. Uh, and, and when it gets too far from the green line, it tends to find its way back. That's mean reversion, whether it's from from the upside or from the downside. Um, so, you know, if you were using SMA 20 here, uh, this one candle in the 27th where you closed below, not enough to take you out. You need two closes below uh, at minimum, and this is why. Um, again, this slope was up, um, and you never really gave up the moving average, so no reason to get ex to exit the trade. Uh, you would have exited the trade up here um, any of these two days, because right, two closes below the 20. Uh, then this day here where you broke below this low, that would have been enough. Uh, so any of these days would have been fine, selling between 42 and $47 on something that you bought at 17 to $20. Um, and again, just riding the trend the trend is your friend until the very end. And I could have given you all these profit targets along the way, like take profit here. See, well, we got a reaction. Yeah, but again, if you had bought here, there was no reason to sell here. The trend did not roll over. 
right? The profit target is just a guidepost. We often walk right past guideposts. They have no significance. They're just telling you mile marker two. Um, so you can't look at a profit target as an end all be all sell signal. It is simply a line in the sand where you're looking for potential supply. You did find supply here, put in this beautiful cup and handle look, and then off to the races. So again, um, moving averages do a great job. They're one of my favorites. Uh, you do get these, these traps, but again, a part of the game is tons of traps in the market. Structure, this is, this is a fun one. I like this one a lot. So like November 4th, right? Come up here, come back here. We've just now set a high and a higher low. Boom, higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low. Higher high, about the same. Um, marginal high, marginal new higher low. Higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher uh, uh, lower low or higher low, depending on how you want to look at it. But we did close below this or get below this, which is very dangerous. And you could tell when that happened, you got the PPO cross down here. Another chance at a high, but we failed. So the higher high, higher low, lower high, lower low, exit here. So whether you use the structure, daily higher low lost pattern, uh, whether you look at this as like an ABC, right? And so like a break of this low, a close below that low, we don't wanna be in the trade. Elliott wave structure would tell you that. Um, or you're looking at this, you know, through the lens of this trend line here, which you could have been, you know, super aggressive with right here. Um, oh, we're below, or you could have said, look, we'll, we'll be conservative, we'll just take this low. We still closed below on this day. Guess what? The trailing stop still had us out the, these three days um, and would have kept us in this whole trade, right? So whether you use the moving average, SMA 20, SMA 40, whether you used uh, the structure, Elliott Wave, you know, simple trend following method of a series of higher lows and higher highs, uh, whether you drew this, you know, static trend line by connecting the lows, uh, all of the trailing stops gave you the same three-day exit. Uh, you could do this exercise on all your charts. Go, I, 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 you know, recommend that you go take a look at a chart and and, and go review your past trades and and try to understand where did I get stopped out? Should I have been stopped out there? Why did I take the loss? Was I oversized? Did I not let the position work? Um, because this is how you make the most money in the market, right? You had a period of essentially three months where you go from $18 to $60, right? Then $60 to $21. So if you had done nothing in a simple buy and hold, you know, it would have taken you November, a whole year, essentially, before that move was actually consolidated, right? Uh, bears attack, bears attack, bears attack. There's, there's no supply left to sell. Boom. Demand takes over and she's off to the races. A simple buy and hold strategy would have been fine, right? But you would have been having to hold for you know, November to November, one whole year, where you could have taken the gains from that three or four month run, wrapped all of those up, at least sold 50%, uh, at some profit targets and then cut the the remainder of the 50% at th this three day period for any of these three reasons um, would have allowed you to compound that gain and then do it again. So, you know, stops are very important. You know, don't, don't be uh, sticking around in a trade when it fails. Right, not everything will look like this. You'll have this where you get stopped out right away. You take the loss, and then boom, it goes against you. Oh no, that happens. But guess what? There was another setup that was just another week away. Same stock. Right. All right, that's it. If you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check us out on Twitter, Market Wizard eighty seven. Thanks.